guys, let's see uh, of the technique start of one of my swimmer. Uh, let's figure it out where, what is the right position, correct position of the start block. First of all, what I can see and what I can say, uh, here's the back position and uh, ups mus muscles not really active, uh, which caused it actually uh, losing a power, effective power in this moment. As you can see, the back it's still curvy, but it's supposed to be a straight and then if Surma would have a straight back position at the beginning of the takeoff, then it's, he can fly a bit longer. See where is the... I have arrow right now. It's supposed to be... His entry is supposed to be one meter, meter longer. Okay. Then uh, I cannot really see the impact of the legs uh, of the entry. And then in entry position, have a look on the arms. What the arms doing actually? I'm gonna change the color for you. It's gonna be better seeing. Here we have a lots of uh, resistance at the beginning of the gliding. See the arms moving ups and downs. Is actually um, you can't moving the hands a little bit, but not so much. And this one actually, he has a hip extension of the arms, joints. He's uh, very flexible, but in the water, extra flexibility can cost it the speed. As you can see right here, arms here comes. A look in this impact. That's why the underwater workout is really struggling at the point. And the other thing, as you can see as well, the legs kicking. The legs had different kick. One leg down, one leg up. Where is going to see? See this? It's all. It's actually cost, it can cost it out of the competition. It can cost it a disqualification. Exactly here, we can see the legs not working together. Also, as well in a breakout, look at the head position. Head position is too high. Uh, so I'm looking forward. It's supposed to look downwards. What's gonna happen in this position of the head right here? head comes too early upwards and this is exactly what we are trying to avoid to have a, a huge uh, resistance in the breakout moment also as you can see the catch is really nice at the beginning the catch is good but then look at the elbows what elbow is doing it eh? and following elbow moment it's the end of the second phase and look at the third phase it's all elbows downwards we're supposed to keep our arms in the third phase oh, wait for a moment it's supposed to be right here hands moving this way but not elbows this way so look at the legs as well Red color taking beer. Look at the legs, look at the elbows, and look at the body position. Head is too high. Okay, and then here uh, we have so many resistance. That's why the front face of the stroke is not really powerful, and the legs also not working together. This is all costed. Um, propulsion in the water of the fourth phase here is the fourth phase of the stroke right when here is less power legs is less power head that's why from the recovery time we're just sinking so badly down as you can see head look down catch 
catch it's a little bit better at the beginning but not fooling and it and third face elbows sinking down okay this is what I I can see and we can just figure it out the mistakes and working on these mistakes I hope so that for the next competition we can improve the technique of the swimmer so here I would like to come back a little bit to the entry position and uh, see the legs uh, action uh, when swimmer gets into the water, okay? So let's see here. Okay. So let's check it out. Uh, what the angle? It's supposed to be between 39 and 42 degrees angle. Uh, when we check supposed to be parallel to the lane it's 56.7 this angle is supposed to be a much more edgy if I will move this one part of the entry impact a little bit forward it doesn't see that much but the angle is getting less as you can see so how we can improve this we need to uh, add more hips action, back ups, um, mus muscles needs to be more uh, in contraction during the action of the takeoff of, of the block. And what's really interesting to me here, so let's see the legs action, okay? Look at this, this is, seems to me like not the swimmer, it's like seems to me like syn synchronized uh, athlete or uh, athletic <laughs> synchronization swimmer, uh, but uh, this is can do only only uh, our swimmer um, Rudy. Look at this. Here's the legs, okay, and here is the body. So this is extra flexibility sometimes for a swimmer not in the good way comes. So we need to just work more of the. Uh, power in the gym to get a little bit tighter body because extra flexibility doesn't work really uh, sometimes uh, in a good way for the swimmer.